So I thought I'd come in and show you guys what Jason has got inside here, because it's pretty mad, the amount of um, well, just coolness in here. Start off with the van, you guys saw a update on this, what, a couple of days ago now? Yeah, it's getting there, running, driving, look in the park. That's cool, still on the ramp though, chilling. Over here though, very, very cool story behind this car, and I had to show you guys, had to get it on camera, bright green, like Kermit green, on the DL plate, so that's an island registration. Believed to be one family owner, it's been passed down, and they've actually daily drove this, daily drove this in the 90s. I'm allowed to just open the door, show you guys inside here. There is even a note, I won't show you what's on the note, but it's a note from the owner, basically explaining to Jason little bits and bobs about the car. That is so lovely. I love stuff like that, where people are just so into their cars that they're even leaving little notes to, you know, people that are, you know, taking over, you know, paint correction or whatever to, or maybe even a mechanic, they're taking over um, ownership, I suppose, for a short period of time to look after it. Just such a lovely thing though, had to show you guys this, because although <laughs> the, new, the new Capri is out, I'm gonna to touch on that, absolute, just from my opinion, madness, that they would take the Capri name, like they did the Mustang name, and put it into a, a mid-size SUV electric things. It's beyond me, it's marketing as it, at its worst in my books, but that's for me to talk about, and you to tell me in the comments that I may be wrong or right, I'm not too sure. But yeah, proper Capri. Love the look of it. DL plate with the press plates on there, even with the uh, mirrors up on the fenders or the wings, I suppose you say. Remember, this is a, a harp to the Mustang at the time on it. So, you know, the Mustang for the European market, the UK market, brown on the green now, I think it looks quite good with the sort of vinyl roof. Olive White Classic Ford Club. Love stuff like that. It's such a sentimental piece, I think, to the owners you know, having it in a family that long. And there's even, for the people on the Isle of Wight, this is like such an old school, you know, bumper sticker, I suppose, and window sticker that you would have had back in the day. That doesn't even exist anymore. So yeah, really, really cool to see one of those in here. The 70 My A510 is the top of the range line dash cam that offers crystal clear 1944p resolution video recording, advanced driver assist systems, a sleek compact design that won't obstruct your view. Setting up the 70 My A510 is a breeze. Simply mount it onto your windscreen, plug it into your car's power outlet and you're ready to go. The dash cam features a wide angle lens, night vision and loop recording, ensuring you capture every moment on the road. The 70 My A5, A510's 4G connectivity is incredibly powerful. Here are some of the key features. Instant app alerts, receive real time notifications on your phone so you can never miss an important event. Live app streaming, watch live footage of your dash cam through the app. Find your car, easily locate your car no matter where you parked it. Real time route tracking, monitoring your vehicle's route in real time on your phone. Smart parking guide mode with collision detection, your car is protected around the clock. Bluetooth fast pairing and built in GPS. But the most important aspect of a dash cam for me is to have a camera with great visual clarity in both day and night condition. The A510 does just that. With HDR dual channel recording in the front camera with balance, highlights and shadows of a crystal clear picture. And you're about to see exactly why we should all have a dash cam in our cars. <laughs> as as if, as if, as if, as if, as if that just happened in front of us and we're recording it on here but on the Jason is can't even be, I just can't. We literally just I, put that in the car. I've almost just had a head on collision. <laughs> I <laughs> you not <laughs> on a blind bend and he was. Oh. Mate, we are literally filming an advert for these guys saying, well, everyone should have a dash cam these days. Yes, for your own safety, but for other people out there that are nuts on the road. And we've literally just, <laughs> I can't I didn't believe want that. I to record an accident. No, but just, here we are. Mate, I'm so shocked. This is literally, we, like a lady before it down people's throats. This is literally it. We've been on the road 30 seconds and we come 30, around a blind bend. If you know where we are on the island, we are- No one overtakes here. Three quarters of a mile from JW. And we were 
40 seconds into that journey yeah and a head-on collision almost happened someone was coming the wrong side of the road on a blind bend 40 mile an hour i can't even believe we've just seen that mate i'm i'm shocked that 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 happened that quickly no no, I love my van. Yeah. And I don't wish for it to be rearranged. <laughs> no. Well, recorded this is why or not. it recorded or not. That was just not on, was it? Man, I'm, I'm literally... <laughs> this is why the camera's out all the time. There's always oh, something happening, yeah. isn't there? Oh, my God. I wanted to show you this as well. This is actually currently for sale. So if you've got the money, I haven't. But if you've got the money, this Island Red, so a DL, an XDL on the plate, completely mint. Mini is actually for sale here at JW at the moment with a cognac. I'm gonna say it's, it's not brown like this, it's sort of like a cognac interior, or, you know, brown sort of interior with the Union Jack actually on the door cards. How cool is that? And I, I noticed this the other day Union Jack on the back as well, actually in the leather. Such a lovely thing. Um, there may be loads of mini enthusiasts out there that would like this. I am one of them. I would love to have one at some point. I think they're really, really cool. This is obviously on the higher end of the market where it's nut and bolt restored. Really cool thing though. You have both Fiestas in the background, just chilling out. Jason's actually been using both of them, actually. He's been using the white one a lot more, but both of them have actually been out in the past couple of months, just chilling in the sun, just enjoying it. So yeah, cool array of classic stuff there, but I'm going to avert your eyes to this over here. This is such a right bit of me. If you know me, if you know my love for American cars, you'll know full well that this is one of the cars I've actually wanted to see. I want to see in person. I haven't actually seen one properly yet. And it's the new C8 Corvette. So this is actually a customer's car that's come in. Beautiful blue paint. I can't even explain on camera how good this thing looks in person. It's really, really hard work to get it on camera and actually how big it is um it, it's not oversized like most american cars are but it's actually because of the dimensions and how flat everything is it looks a lot bigger than it is one thing i did notice look at this square exhaust square exhaust that's so cool i like it with the window and across and the stingray badge on the back yeah this is the right bit of me and i think what are these they're sub a hundred thousand pound aren't they they're 80 maybe 70 i'm not too sure depending on spec depending on how nice you want it to be but for the money i think that's a hell of a car i think that is just something so cool and obviously this being the first corvette where they took the engine from the front and it was sort of well i suppose it's mid-engine in it so the engine is actually here such a cool thing you've still got a boot you've still got a frunk which is nice we'll just show you guys inside i'm allowed to uh, just pop the door open and the contrasting blue paint goes inside to carbon fiber and blue all in there and again this is a car that i had to show you guys because this is the right bit of me even stingray down there look at that this is just up there with oh this is one of the the new cars that i would get myself into i don't really like new cars but if i ever had the option it would definitely be something like this because it is so lovely although you know we do like the Old cars as well, don't get me wrong, we love an old car. I just appreciate sometimes the newer stuff as well. I'll show you guys this side as well. The buttons are crazy in these newer Corvettes. Let me just show you this. Blue, absolutely everywhere. Carbon in here as well, look at that. With even the Corvette logos just there. The attention to detail is really, really high, but the buttons all in the center there it's slightly weird, don't get me wrong, but I sort of get it. Like, it's just a row of buttons and it works. Such a lovely thing inside. Alcantara roof as well. Look at that, all Alcantara. And you've got all the buttons just down here for the roof to go up, back window and stuff. But yeah, such a lovely thing. It deserves as much spotlight as I can give it, just sat in here. Would love to take one out one day. If anyone's got one out there that wants to, you know, do something with it, let me know. Just coming outside, wanted to show you guys this M4. I am very public about my not that much liking to when I had my M4. It was great. It was a cool car. Just never really got on with it. This one, though, very, very lovely. Carbon fibre. Carbon fibre, carbon fibre, carbon fibre. And it's actually having a full polish. We've just pulled it out for a minute just to clean the bay down so it can be polished properly. But... What you guys can't see is it's like purple in the metallic paint. I'm not sure if I can get it because the sun's not out, but it's like a purple metallic-y gray. 
on white interior, which is like odd, but slightly cool. I, I sort of, I like it as a spec. That is, that is a pretty cool spec for a M4 in my opinion. I've never really seen a spec like that, so. Although I've, you know, had an M4 and I didn't really enjoy my time with it, if I'm honest, I'm being very honest. That's cool. Lastly, you guys haven't seen, this bay has had tons of stuff done, including flooring, new signs, new, everything's been painted. So yeah, loads of stuff, loads of polishing happens in this bay. Jason really outdid himself to the point where I went home and painted my garage black because I loved the idea of how this looked.